Good morning from Reykjavik, Iceland. Today we are joining a city walking tour and we have connected with a company called Your Friend in Reykjavik and I just love the creativity of that name. So we're joining them on their city walking tour. It's going to be an opportunity for us to learn about old Iceland, all the stories, see all the sights and it's a great way we've always found on these walking tours just to meet cool people who are fellow travelers. The guides are awesome and they're just full of knowledge so we I know we always seek them out in cities so your friend in Reykjavik the city walking tour should be a great opportunity we're excited to bring you along with us as we show you the sites and learn about Reykjavik and the history ourselves and we are heading right down to main plaza here to meet up with the guide all right we'll see you in just a few minutes our tour is just getting started and believe it or not it's actually just us on this tour we got really lucky that way and Esther is our tour guide and she is already amazing she has told us all types of stories about the family names when you see in Iceland uh, what they represent the the daughter of the father and, the, and how all the last names work she gave us the sort of the family structure history when children leave uh, the home and, and set it on their own and how the, all that's changed throughout the different eras so Esther is uh, again going to be a wealth of knowledge so if you do connect with uh, your friend in Reykjavik uh, I'd recommend Esther so she's great and we're gonna do a whole walk through old Reykjavik and hear the stories and again a wealth of knowledge right now she's sharing some stories about the Vikings and the history of this square here All right, I'm gonna jump back in and our first stop on the tour Esther gave us all the history of this house, the first house in Reykjavik. She talked a lot about the population, the sizes. So back then when this house was built and something, I, I don't quote me, 1762, there was only like a few hundred people here. Of course now Reykjavik has grown to the largest city in Iceland. And in Reykjavik, I believe there's something like 130,000 people in the greater area, about 150,000. But total population in Iceland, Esther's telling us is less than half a million. So it's again, a very small, Small country in terms of the population and over here we're going to now this statue and this is the gentleman who they kind of quote as the father of Iceland so let's kind of get in there and get to hear some of the stories about the the, the founding gentleman of Reykjavik in Iceland all right Esther was great she was just giving us all the information about Skuli Magnus so Magnus is Skuli's father son of Magnus is sort of how the last names work and then if uh, this were obviously a woman uh, this would not be son this would be the daughter of Magnus that's, that's how they kind of formed the last names and we're actually this main square here with his statue sort of again the guy who's credited the father of Reykjavik Iceland culture uh, this is actually an old cemetery so now Esther's just sort of pointing out the old gravestones here and talking about kind of the ancient history of the names and the people. Very cool, very informative tour here. All right, so just opposite the cemetery, Esther has brought us over here. This is the uh, exhibition hall, so you can go in there. Uh, she was saying it's very tactile, good for the kids. This won't be uh, stuff that we go in on this trip, but just noting that this would be a great place to learn about sort of the Viking history, the early settlements, they even have underground uh, the original stone pillars for some of these like long Viking houses. So again, a great place uh, just for that tactile hands-on experience for the kids would be this uh, settlement exhibition hall. So our tour now takes us past all of the embassies. You've got the Greenland embassy, the Russian embassy, the French embassy. There's the uh, original Catholic churches up that road. So again, Esther's really doing a good job. Now she's kind of snaking us through some of these back alleys. So you really get a feel for these neighborhoods on a tour like this where, uh, again, you just get to walk the streets, hear the stories. And again, it's, it's right through these little neighborhoods that we are, are walking. So we're really getting a good feel for the town and everything that it has to offer. Have you tried to read? All right, so Esther's now really taking the time to explain some of the Icelandic language to our kids. So some of the obviously special characters that they have that we wouldn't be able to pronounce. Uh, she's explaining the history of the word, uh, how it was like tied to certain sounds, and it's just fascinating. It's pulling the kids right in, especially as they're kind of thinking about grammar themselves as we're heading back to school here in just a few weeks. Now we're learning a little bit about the uh, history of elves and all the influence of, uh, of that folklore. And uh, in fact, Tolkien and Lord of the Rings and how uh, one of the babysitters was from Iceland and 
you know, this rock has a lot of lure to it. It's about uh, elves and all that living inside of the rock. So a very fascinating part of Icelandic history, of course. And uh, on this tour, uh, you'll learn a lot about uh, that whole uh, side of ice and all the folklore. And it's just really fascinating. The kids are really sucked into the stories that uh, Esther is telling. All right, so Esther was great. She was just telling us the history of some of these old shops and, and the people who live there and the artists. She also went into the design of the Icelandic flag and what the different colors represent. The blue for the skies, the white for the glaciers, the red for the lava, and the cross for the Christian nation that Iceland is. So that's great. Again, we're just picking up so many fine details. Either one that we're not even on our radar, but two, just kind of that cultural uh, enrichment that we're picking up on a tour, again, by your friend in Reykjavik. Okay. <laughs> so now we are very close. So Esther's pointing out some of these old piers, like from 1930s. These were the original piers where the sailors would row out to the merchant ships. Obviously not now, where that behind all these buildings was just the ocean. And uh, all the boats would row out from those piers. They'd bring in all the goods from the merchants. And just, I mean, that was not all that long ago when you think about it, just uh, under 100 years ago, when uh, before any of this was even here. So again, just getting a good uh, history lesson here of what old Reykjavik used to be like. So another really fascinating uh, part here in Reykjavik is this mosaic here. This was built in the 1970s. It took one year. Uh, a lady from Iceland built all of this. And what's kind of interesting is this is really representing Art Street or Art Row of Reykjavik. So this building is soon to be occupied by the University Art Program right down from the Art Museum. We've got all these Photoshop installations. It's just kind of a artist street all the way down so it is kind of cool that they are organizing it that way and that Reykjavik has such a respect for the arts and wow this mosaic is really pretty cool all right this is absolutely one of the highlights in my mind of this tour where Esther is showing us this right here this is the old pierce of the ocean all this used to be ocean all underwater and this was the original ramp down and you've got all these kind of old pictures uh, of what Reykjavik used to be like. And this is the one that we spent a lot of time looking at. So you've got this pier right here, this is this. And what was it called? This building from 1927 is right there. And that peak right here is right here in the photo. So this is cool. And even in the photo, you've got these boats right here. And those are the anchors that the boats used to tie onto. Right where Kelly and the kids are going. Let's see if I can walk down there with them. But this is such a fascinating look into the history of Reykjavik. Learning about kind of all this and just to think that this would all be ocean before. And these are the clamps of these boats would tie on to you. So, wow, just great. Really, just thinking about the history of all of this and how before none of this was here. Uh, yeah, very cool. Now we're down here by the pier. So all the ships, Esther is giving us a lot of the history lesson of the old boats and kind of the whale hunting industry. So really learning just a lot of information as she kind of talks to us about each of these boats and the jobs they do and how they help support the uh, Icelandic economy with uh, in the fishing industry. So as the weather turns a little worse, I'm glad we're here. Up next, we're stepping into the Harper House, which is home of the Icelandic Symphony. And Esther is really explaining to us about the financial crisis of 2008 and the impact that that had on the economy and the banking industry. It was about that time during the collapse, I believe she was explaining that the, uh, the, the country nationalized all the banks and just all the shifting of the economy from the collapse. But now we're gonna walk through the building here and you get a great shot of the harbor all the way across. So what do you think? We're about, we're about halfway through the tour. What do you think so far? Uh, great. Just tons about the history and the, the old Reykjavik versus new Reykjavik. Just all the history coming together to new age and it's pretty neat. Fascinating. Yeah, we have definitely, or at least I have definitely learned a lot more than I kind of thought I would. I thought this was going to be sort of like a, like a, like like a little walkover. This yeah, is like a really a stuff. This yeah. is like the Esther is really taking the time to explain the details uh, of the 
of the whole history of uh, Reykjavik, so we're really learning a lot. Okay, we're gonna hit the bathrooms, take a look at the view, and then uh, continue on with the tour. This might be the favorite part of the tour for the kids. So right now, right now Esther is telling us the folklore of trolls and the history of trolls and basically how when Christianity came to Iceland in the year 1000 uh, and built churches, it was the church bells that were ringing and that the, the noise of the church bells and the construction and, and, and even pre then the Vikings drove the trolls off out into the mountains. And when the church bells would ring, trolls would throw huge rocks at the churches to try to stop the bells. And that's why in Iceland, you'll often see these large rocks near Christian churches. So I thought that was kind of cool. And right now the kids are just kind of enamored into her story as she continues telling us about the trolls. All right, so Esther is just giving us a little bit of the history, a little bit more Viking related history. So the statue, the monument, the first Viking and the wooden pillar that he drove into the ground for good luck, uh, all right here, just in downtown Reykjavik, right where we are now. All right, so now we're getting the sort of the history here of the prime minister's house. And again, uh, Esther pointed out again how Iceland is such a safe, neutral country that there's really no guards or security outside of the prime minister's office. You could, I guess you could just technically walk right in, but uh, I don't, I don't want to push my luck. But this is great. It's all just right here. Uh, the prime minister, she has been, I think, in office for eight years, Esther said, so uh, very popular apparently with the people. And it's just cool that you can walk right in and potentially just see the prime minister uh, out and about doing, uh, doing the government business. And as you continue down the street, we're now learning about the school. So this school is actually still active. It's the high school now. And Esther graduated from here, you know, way back, uh, way back when. So it is kind of cool to see the oldest school in Reykjavik. And as we're kind of coming to the end of the tour, we're heading towards the lake here. We're learning about all these buildings, how this used to be an elementary school. This building here was the kindergarten. Just a wealth of knowledge as we as we walk these streets, and it's uh, a beautiful area to kind of wrap up the tour with. We got all these beautiful birds. Oh, this is so sweet, Esther. She uh, promised the kids a little surprise, and she brought little crackers or little breads uh, for the birds. See, they're already expecting their little treats. Pieces, you know, you take something like this. You want the treat? Wow. That is just so thoughtful of Esther to consider the kids' um, excitement for feeding the birds. So it's just lovely that she uh, brought the breadcrumbs. And the word is out on the street now. So thoughtful, so great. So this is kind of coming to the end of our tour. We're at our last stop, and right now Esther is giving Kelly a bunch of information about the independence of Iceland, sort of the 1940s era, uh, in, in the statue of this gentleman here who's really the leader of the Independence Party. Right here behind us is the parliament. She even dated it back to um, Danish rule. So we're really getting a thorough overview of government structures, the independence movement, independence finally in the 1940s, uh, all of Iceland. So I'm gonna jump back in and kind of catch the end of the details about the independence. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. It was you're great. Welcome. We learned so much. You're welcome. Yeah. You. And uh, have a good one and lots of uh, good experience and good health in 2020. Woohoo, you too. too. Yeah. Actually, thank you. thank you so much. Thank and you. hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you. Alrighty. Bye. Now you have a friend to drink. Yes, we do. Bye. Okay. Alrighty. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. All right, well, that was just a fantastic experience ending with the church bells right by the parliament building. <laughs> Kids, what did you think of the tour? I think it was pretty good. good, and we got to see a bunch of history about. Yeah, yeah learned about a bunch of the history. Yeah. What was your... Oh, yeah. What was your favorite part, Cedar? My favorite part was when she was talking about the trolls. And, oh, yeah. and the guys were trying to drill the rock, but the, but the elves' magic um, didn't let them drill the top. We yeah, were, there's a lot of elf magic here, and there's a lot of trolls. And and, it was a, a great balance of folklore, history, 
places. It was a great tour. So we would highly recommend you consider your friend in Reykjavik for a tour because it was so much more than what I originally expected it was going to be. I just, again, it was just great. Wait, wait, wait. All right, all right, all right. Granite, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was when we were feeding the birds. Oh yes, that was so nice. It just again, just, just the, the fact the that um, the fact that Esther was so thoughtful to, to bring bread for us was great. Okay, well on that, I think it's time for us to wrap up this video. We're all ready for some hot dogs. Okay, well we'll see you in the next video. Bye.